a world premiere of a new edition of an icon, the BMW 3 Series. Now the sixth generation enters the motoring arena. You know, 3 Series is a very much the core of our brand and uh, you know, it started back in the mid 70s. It started the longest success period uh, in I think automotive history. Some 14 million 3 Series have been sold around the world since that point. And of course today it comes in, in many derivatives as well. So it's core in the United States, it's core in, uh, in Asia and it's also core here in Europe. So you know, we're delighted with this positioning. The venue for the event is the BMW Museum in Munich, where the Touring and Sedan enter the stage. Among the museum's exhibits, you'll find old historical vehicles on display, including the early 3 Series. The success story of the 3 Series began in the year 1975. BMW enters the market with a vehicle, which for generations to come will be known for its well-rounded nature, a mid-sized model, sporty, compact, and innovative. In the interior, the design is also showing the way forward. The cockpit, oriented towards the driver, is a characteristic feature of the new little Beamer. The 3 Series is also a vehicle to reckon with in the world of motorsports, having already racked up numerous successes on the international racing circuit. Maybe it was uh, not the one or the best, it was uh, the best car for touring car. And uh, with that car, we could uh, achieve many titles. We won uh, immediately in 1987, we won the World Touring Car Championship and uh, in 88 we won the European and then in 1989 uh, we won the DTM. So it was a fantastic period for, for racing uh, uh, with, it, with this car. It was 40 years ago when the first generation BMW 3 Series entered the market. In the interior, naturally much has evolved over the past four decades. Modern materials and electronic assist systems, for instance, leave nothing to be desired. What's remained is the cockpit fully oriented towards the driver. Initially, the BMW 3 Series Touring is a model variant that wasn't even planned, but it has become an important member of the 3 Series family. That was more or less a familial decision. When my daughter was born and we wanted to go on vacation, we always had the problem of what to do with the luggage. The normal 3 Series, the notchback, was simply too small. So, as a master auto body builder, I decided to build my own car, and that was the Touring. I also wanted to continue driving a BMW, but BMW didn't have a Touring. So, I began giving it some thought in April 1984. Then I came up with the idea of setting the C-pillar back a little, and extending the roof. Optically, I already had it in my head. For many, the BMW 3 Series is much more than merely a mode of transportation. It's an expression of attitude towards life. Collectors have long discovered the 3 Series as an object of desire. Daniel Falkenberg's collection of 3 Series Beamers is quite an extensive one. The fascination that comes with this series vehicle is simply amazing. It is such a multifaceted, versatile automobile, more so than many others. It is spirited, it is sporty, it is exquisite, it is universal, and simply excites me. Back to the present. New design changes can also be found in the front of the new 3 Series Beamer. The typical BMW kidney grille is wider, the lighting elements modernized, in the front and back in both the Touring and Sedan. For top performance, the BMW 340i comes with a 3-liter 6-cylinder engine boasting more than 300 horsepower. We've introduced a whole new family of engines as well and including a new 3-cylinder engine that will be the first uh, in a 3 Series and a plug-in hybrid version that will come next year and some of the statistics there with 49 grams of CO2. You know, this is in a league which is way out in front of I think anybody's offering. In its sixth generation, the new 3 Series BMW will certainly find its followers.